the the day or maybe the day after I can't remember it was you know that time was kind of a blur uh, we were notified on Friday and then Saturday was you know when we started Friday evening we started getting you know people showing up at the door and stuff newscasters and what have you but we knew about the uh, church that protests against them and, and, and what have you and really hadn't paid much attention to it except see it on the news and say, you know, that ain't right, they shouldn't do it, and, you know, get a little upset about it. But then when it's your own, it's like, oh, no, they're not coming here. But then we get a phone call from uh, Patriot Guard riders and ask them permission to ride, and yes, by all means. And, and they were there. They, they escorted us from the funeral home, actually from when Adam's body came in at the airport, from there to the funeral home, from the funeral home to the church out here, and from the church back to the funeral home, and from there back to the airport when he left to fly to Arlington, uh, D.C. to be buried at Arlington. So, I mean, they were there every minute. And then the day of the funeral at Arlington, they were there that, and then. There were some from... Uh, North Carolina, from Virginia, um, Maryland, they were, they were from all over and they, they came. We didn't know, but National Geographic was taking pictures of the funeral. And this is a book that they produced and put out and this, the, this one like this is only given to family members. But it's called Where Battle Rests, Arlington National Cemetery, and uh, our son's funeral is actually in it gotten a lot grayer since that day. I can imagine. I've, I've aged. Uh, this is another picture that was taken by them that day. Letter from the, uh, came with the book from the uh, office superintendent at Arlington Cemetery. That's his stone. It was right after it was placed. We had to wait about 90 days or so. There's been like 15 rows in front of his since he was killed. And a couple of them are Medal of Honor winners. Uh, I had just left my house, um, ran out like many of us do, and grabbed some breakfast at the drive through and came back home and was sitting in front of the TV watching. and. The morning news came on, and um, it immediately caught my attention because the first story when I sat down um, was on Adam. And I had no clue um, that, there were, that there were people out there that were protesting this. Um, but if there was anything that ever happened in my life that immediately struck me as wrong, that did. Um, I didn't know about the Patriot Guard. Um, but in part of the news story, it said that the Patriot Guard riders had been invited to the services. Immediately, I got on the computer, started researching uh, the whole nine yards, and uh, found out what it was about. And I knew at that point that, you know, I couldn't just sit around and take a chance. You know, I didn't know the Lucas family, um, but for me to sit back and know that they just lost a son um, and there could be somebody there to disrupt their time to grieve their son's passing, um, I couldn't do it. So I joined.